Hello and welcome to another video. So today I have the ring wired version. So this one will only work if you have a wired doorbell that uh, you can disconnect and put your ring onto. I do also have an angler that I bought off of Amazon. Because I guess as you can see, if I put the ring here, it'll point this direction, which is not gonna do me very well. So I have an angler that will uh, change the angle so I can get more of what I need to uh, see. All right, so let's open it up. So typically, It'll be pretty easy unboxing with the ring. Uh, they have this sticker here. You just peel and pull to open. Let's see what's inside. So first of all, there's a quick start guide. And then this whole thing pulls out, which includes your ring device. It actually comes with a screwdriver uh, because there's a special screw so that somebody can't just unlock and steal your ring device. And there, this is the ring device itself. It's pretty small, not very bulky. The wired version is nice because you don't have a battery, so it's much smaller. And that's why I was lucky enough to have a already existing wiring, so I don't have to use the battery version. Um, there's also other screws for the mount and things like that. And there's a little connector cable here. So it's important to turn off the power of the breaker uh, to this doorbell so you don't um, electric yourself so it's important to turn off the power from the breaker to the doorbell so you don't electrocute yourself or uh, damage the device. I've already unscrewed uh, these screws a little bit, so I'm gonna take them off all the way. So on the back here, there's more screws. So you kind of just tug and then you'll be able to access it. And you can just unscrew this. And you can just unhook the wires from there. And now the bell is off. This cable that they included is actually a jumper cable that is gonna disable the um, access to the actual um, chime device inside and just get the power through. So it is very important to use this jumper cable. So the jumper cable bypasses your existing doorbell chime and must be installed before you install your ring doorbell, okay? So uh, you might have a screw, but most of the times it just pops right off. And then if you look at the instructions, it'll say, you know, you loosen the, the terminals and then connect two of the terminals. So I gotta figure out where to connect. Okay, so on my uh, diagram here, it tells me where the front and the trans uh, terminals are. So you don't have to unscrew all the way actually because these will just slide under. So I'm just gonna unscrew a little bit of the way until I have enough space for the wire to go in. I'm gonna bend the wire so it can stay in there easily. And I'm gonna slide one under, this is probably an easier angle for me, so I'm gonna do one here. And it doesn't really matter uh, which way, which side the bypass cable goes, which side each of the bypass cable goes. Once you have it screwed in, you can install back your uh, cover. I don't know if I did it the right way, but it's stable, so that's fine with me. Okay, now you can uh, go back out and uninstall your doorbell, which uh, mine is mostly uninstalled, and I'll show you how to do the rest. Okay, so now you can mark the holes from your uh, ring and then drill holes and put the screws in, but I've got an extra strap. Because I've got an angler uh, installed, I can actually, I can actually look at the doorbell um, and make sure that the doorbell will connect to my um, angler and it seems like there's three different holes so it should be connecting just fine and uh, I can go ahead and install it on the angler and then I can install the angler here and go from there. So let's uh, unwrap this ring. Okay, so looking at the back here, you can take this uh, warning label off, but it tells you the voltage it will accept. So we'll take the sticker off. And this is essentially where the wires that are here will connect. Okay, so I'm gonna feed the wires of the angler through the hole, and then I'm gonna 
uh, center it the way I want and then screw the screws in. So while the plates were on, I marked the holes and then I'll just go ahead and screw my screws in before I put the plate in just to make it easier. Okay, so I've drilled the holes or actually just used my screw to put the holes in. I'm gonna make sure the wires are fed through the uh, hole on the plate and I'm gonna screw both the screws in. These angle, these angle mounts can be purchased from uh, both Ring uh, itself as well as other various manufacturers on Amazon. The one from Ring itself has a limited angle that they create versus the one that I bought has variable angle from 25 degrees to 50 degrees. And there's other ones that can create a 90 degree angle as well. It does help to have an electric screwdriver because taking off and putting back on screws can be you can cut off maybe 20-30% of your work by using this. If you use a drill, you can probably do it all using a drill, but it's a tight space. Okay, so the mount is securely on. The ring itself has a face plate that you can just pop off. There is a, a sticker here that I pulled off, and now as you can see, you can put screws in through here and then mount it on here. But before we do that, we're gonna make sure that the uh, cables are running past this other hole as well. Okay. I have both my cables out. Now I can mount the ring onto the angle mount. Before you do this mounting part, you need to connect the wires. It does not matter, uh, it doesn't matter which wire goes where. And there's always some give so you can pull out that wire. Hook one here. Screw it in. Tighten up. Put the other one on the other side, making sure I have the right angle. Go it in all the way. Make sure it's snug. Now in setup mode. Follow the instructions in the ring app. These tiny silver screws are what I'm using to mount the ring onto the angle mount. There's two, one on top, one on bottom. And of course, if you don't have the angle mount, you don't have to follow these steps, but it just adds a little bit of complexity. Once you've done that, you can ready to install your base plate. So it just mounts on like this, and now your ring looks like it's supposed to. Then there's a screw on the bottom where you're gonna put one of those secure um, lock screws so somebody can take it off, and you're gonna use your uh, ring screwdriver to screw it on. I have another screw to uh, install on the angle mount, depending on the angle I want. So I'm going to leave it as is right now. Um, I'm going to set up my app uh, and download the app, connect the device, and then I can go ahead and uh, angle it the way I want, depending on the view. But that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.